afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Detroit Tigers. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Coming to the plate now, Saul Arthur. He'll lead things off here in the bottom up. half of the For first. The, Tigers, the right fielder, Saul Arthur. The pitch. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, on, comfortable. Jerry. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. Hey. You don't, one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this, team, this team's sitting pretty right now. in front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout keep that guy off the base path. At the plate now, Adrian Ferrar, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hey, one down now, one down. The windup and the 0-1. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third. Into the, the box, Ronald Rodriguez. Oh. Yes, he'll take Rodriguez. a look at ball one. Guys. Well out in front of the breaking ball, ball there for a strike. Two out, nobody on. One and two one as ball. he chases the slider. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll. Stepping up now, Miguel Villarreal. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The left fielder, Miguel Via rehab. Plays it one here. And the pitch. Hey! All one's the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Big swing at the knuckle curve, nope. gets nothing oh, but air. 0-2 now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Reined in. And that's the first out. 
Ready now, number 19. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First offering on its way. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Here we go, here we go. Barely able to make contact, down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. McLeary in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Next up for Detroit, Jeremy Pena. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. Pena. Here we go, guys. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Ball one. Pena has all the necessary nope, skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield, and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them, but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to, and it's impressive to watch. Yeah, anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the, the infield is a huge asset to have. Two the count now at two and one. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Fouled off. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And next it'll be the outfielder, Mickey Moniak. Mickey Moniak. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One, Back one. up the oh no, that got him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. So coming to the plate, MJ Melendez. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last MJ. night. Melendez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve. Strike one. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Batting nut, the third baseman, Jose. To the plate now, Jose Martinez. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. Hey, two away now, two away. Swing and a miss. Good screwball there, and he's in command 0 and 2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. 
three up, three down for Detroit. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping into the box, Saul Arthur comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Come on, big guy. Get him yourself right here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Digging in, Adrian Farrar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. First pitch of the at bat. Hey! Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. The first baseman, number 12, Ronald Rodriguez. Two outs here. Stepping in now, Ronald Rodriguez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Tigers. They're down two to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Miguel Villarreal. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. To the plate now is the designated hitter, George now Bless. He flew out in his last at-bat. George Bliss. 
And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0 and 1. No runs, no hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Up next for the Tigers, not shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Standing in now, Jeremy Pena. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. There's the knuckle curve laid off one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Ready on one and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They trail in this one, three nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran well, outfielder, Tiger. Mickey Moniak. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we Moniac. enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. His command has been outstanding Nobody so far, here, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Here we go, right now, fellas. Nothing in two count and the pitch one, one, is put one. in play to the right side of the infield fielded cleanly oh. and there's one away when the guy in the mound is working on a no no this late every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders we'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him Into the box now, MJ Melendez. Now he Matt, was a strikeout Hector, victim in his first MJ. try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight oh, either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care one, if one, you're one. staring at him Matt. or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in time at first for route number two. When the guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Stepping in, Jose Martinez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Martinez. Now the pitch. Slow one, one, one. little roller to third. Barehanded at his knees. 
Safe. Safe. Nearly kept the perfect game alive, but that one enters the books as a base hit, their first of the game. Well, I think this will be ruled an error, so the no-hit bid is still alive. If it's not, there might be a riot in that dugout, and rightfully so. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Saul Arthur. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Tigers leave one. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Adrian Ferrar. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see, he's had a great first half as he leads the AL in that department. Ready once again, Ronald Rodriguez. Ronald. Here comes the Rodriguez. first pitch. Hey. We got one here. We got one. Bases are empty. Like one man out. Let's go. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one, and this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. The left fielder, number seven, Miguel Villarreja. So now to the plate, Miguel Villarreal, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Come on, guys. Hey, two away, two away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. Eighth inning coming up. The Angels are out in front. Five to nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And striding forward the designated hitter, George Bliss. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go hey. your way can feel like a big victory. A ball, one ball, strike. one strike to count. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's one down now. Pretty simple way to start the eighth inning out. A ground ball, and he's five outs away from a no-no. Riding in once again, Jeremy Pena. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Here's the first pitch to him.
The wind up and the 0 1. Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth inning, and the pitcher needs only four more outs for a no-hitter. Digging in once again, Mickey Moniak. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Moniak. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. No oh, runs, no hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. We're two away now. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Got to think our man behind the plate thought twice about that one. About as close as it gets. And he struck him out. So he's now through eight full innings and will take his no-hit bid into the ninth. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels five and the Tigers nothing. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next to hit is the catcher, MJ Melendez. The catcher, MJ. First delivery to him on the way. That's a ball. Counts one and oh. And we got no outs here. The one and one pitch. One and two now. Two strikes. That's Good slider two. there, but laid off and called the ball low. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking right, ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Ready for another shot now. Jose Martinez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Oh, and one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 oh, now. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still Come looks on, like fellas. he's approaching it like it's a close game. We got one here. Now the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. So now just one man stands between he and his no-hitter. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The right fielder, number 13, Saul Arthur. In now, Saul Arthur. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. 
One of the keys to good pitching is attacking early in the count. That's two pitches, two swings, and an 0-2 count. Let's see if he goes. Swing and a miss, and he's got it. A no-hitter. Well, it's something that every pitcher who's ever picked up a baseball dreams about, and he's done it. A no-hit gem in one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a while. He's in the record books forever now. Well, obviously, after a no-hitter, there's not a whole lot of debate as to the identity of our top player of the game. Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this was his show. And he winds up in the history books with a no-hitter.